I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world? Uh, um... A secret? <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Huh? Really? This is the first time I've heard of it. Oh, man. This collusion between these- this is freaking Russia and Trump all over again. Good day, good people, United States Aviators back, and we are here with more Danganronpa V3. Version 3, Killing Harma V. And we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and continue from where we left off. It has been a hot minute since I've recorded Danganronpa, but that's because I did a, like a mass chunk altogether. And I'm probably gonna do another mass chunk today. Um, and I don't really, don't really recall what I'm doing now. I did go back and, like, skip around on the last part that I had. Last time I made some, some, some stunning- ooh, okay. I'm glad I just kind of turned around and stared all over the place. Give me that. Yeah, take that, rewind it back. Got him. Oh, that leveled me up. Alright, well- <sighs> What happens when I click on your door? It won't open, I suppose it's locked. Never forget, never forget the K-word, never forget the K-word. Alright, well let's do this. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get going. Oh, hold on, who's over here? Oh, it's my boy, Kaito! Luminary of the stars, Kaito! Space boy! <laughs> um. Good morning, Kaito. Oh, hey bro! Perfect timing, can I get your opinion on something? Huh? For what? I mean... Well, it's about our training. Like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method. But I feel like something's uh, missing. Um... You do? We've only done sit-ups and push-ups so right. far. Even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow, I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some kind of mental training. Okay. Uh. Now that you mention it, I do have a practice sword. You do? Oh, this is a special scene! Oh, good idea! Practicing with those will be a great training exercise. Alright, let's not wait till night. We're gonna do this training as soon as possible. Would you like to go with Kai- Yes, of course, my boy! Space boy! Especially since he's bleeding from his mouth. Don't know how much longer he has. All right. I feel like he's gonna be like a murder victim and they'll be like, uh, did he just die or was he murdered? It's decided. I'll bring Maki Roll. So, let's meet at the usual place. You mean the courtyard? But first, breakfast. I'll see you there. Alright, boy. Alright, space boy. See you later. Looks like we got ourselves a special scene coming on. Special scene? Special scene dream? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do I? Yeah, you run with B. Someone's around the back. Do I? Sure. Sure. Why not? We're getting right back into this game. We might as well do some running. We're only at level 39, you know? Only at level 39, he says. Alright, let's go, let's go. Who is this? Is this Gonta? Gonta! Gonta! Gontahara! That's probably not your name. Gokuhara. Close enough, right? Hey! Come out! What? Where are you hiding? Come talk Gonta. to Gonta! Gonta, what's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh! Oh, good morning, Shuichi. Gonta not looking for a person. Gonta looking for a tiny bug. Hmm. Ah, yes, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Well, Gonta no can find him. Gonta see him lots of times, so Gonta pretty sure it not mistake. Hmm. I see. But... but Gonta happy Shuichi loves bugs so huh? much. Huh? Well, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? What? You hate bugs, Shuichi? Wait. No. No, no, no. I love them, Gonta. I said that before, what? right? Oh, yeah. You're a good person, so of course you like bugs. Okay, Gonta. Alive, yeah, we, Gonta. we love him. Alright, Gonta. Go find... Alright, go to go find Tiny Bug for Shuichi, no matter what it takes. Look forward to it. Okay. It's no use. I still get chills thinking about the insect meet and greet. 
Yeah, me too. Okay, so... Gones has been talking about seeing tiny bugs for a long time. But, I feel like... Since there's no other bugs, you were like, you see them lots of times. I feel like that's trying to clue me in on something, but nothing was in yellow text. So I'm not... I only really start, like, thinking when things are in yellow text, but going to... and this bug are really suspicious. I don't know. That's the door behind me. Alright, who else do we got? Do I even want to come down this way? I'm probably gonna hang out with you next. I've already had a special scene with you. Yeah, the kitchen's down. Uh, let me talk. I guess. How are you doing? You've had some rough times. You've had some rough times. How's it going? What's good, Himiko? Oh, good morning, yeah. Himiko. Yeah, it's you, Shuichi. This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Did something happen? Mm. What are you saying? The Monokuma's drama and- Oh my gosh, were you a fan of the yeah. drama? Monotaro awakened to love. It looked like a new development, but the next day it was over. You were really looking forward to that, huh? I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Monophony had a baby in her stomach. How about that? And it'd actually be the child of one of the dead Monocubs. Those kinds of melodramatic twists and turns I expect. What? I'm not sure it would be much fun watching a melodrama yeah? like that. No, no, this is the typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next time she'll burn the toast, then bang, zoom. What the heck is she You're talking right. about? Well, if it's already over, that's bad. That's right. Throwing away my regrets and moving forward, that's my yes, new life. that's it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, little tiny witch mage person. Apparently she knows a lot about soap operas. Maybe I'll learn that when I hang out with her. But for now, let's go eat some breakfast. Most important meal of the day. Serving it up Monokuma's way. With a knife in your chest, probably, or something like that. He likes that. He likes murder. Unfortunately. Gosh, our numbers have dwindled. People are here. People are not here. Okay, only two people are here? Jeez. We're Mew and Kokichi. Jeez. I understand why Kokichi's gone, but where's Mew? She's probably still messing with that computer on That's the fourth right. floor. Or, she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Yeah, we saw that maintenance, all right. We sure did. We saw it. Wish we didn't. Well, messing with machines and computers is about all she's good for. Oh my gosh, what could she be up to? <laughs> you were secretly a savage and with a smile on your face. Gonta. Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Um... Gonta's still thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? What? But... Gonta no can think of anything so frustrating. Come on, man. Gonta, you don't need to make such a scary face. And besides, it's not just you, that's something we all gotta think that's about. Right. We should all be thinking about what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. But there's like a machine that can just hey. make more monokumas. Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt something out like that. But you admit it's true, huh? I guess. I'll keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. Right. Now that that's settled, let's eat. If we don't eat well, we can't think well. That's my boy. He's 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 a smart one. He's a smart cookie. That's why that's why we're tight. That's why we're tight, yo. We finished eating our breakfast and then returned to our rooms. We needed to get our thoughts together. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. Oh, I'm aware. I know. Freaking Mew. Not Mew. Kokichi. <laughs> Mew's just working on the computer. I guess. This season the fourth. Oh, we have training, right? He's at the usual place. I guess we'll meet in the courtyard. Time for a special scene, baby. Alright, let's do it. My my peeps. Got it. Oh, there you are, bro. Well. I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well, you bought the thing we need for our new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi. Basadir. Here you go. Okay. 
Here it is, but is it usable? Mm. Is this a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? That's a good question. See, I went to this little vending machine thing and it just spurts out all kinds of things. Opened up a little egg and this big practice sword came out. It was bigger on the inside, I guess. Time Lord technology. Is Monokuma a Time Lord? Maybe. Huh? Huh, why are you making such a disgusted face, Maki Roll? That's, that's right, Maki. <sighs> so you didn't tell Kaito yet? No. When I first started working, I botched a mission with a katana. Did she tell us? Like, if we didn't hang out with Maki, would we get this part of the scene? Interesting. Since then, I decided not to use swords. Oh, I see. Well, Don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. You know. No, it's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. All right. All right. Tell us about it. Now, I'll listen to all of it. Okay. Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures, I get it, but didn't I tell you? Makirol. Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever, you gotta confront it and move on. This is- he should be a motivational speaker, and I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. I don't mind talking about it, just be warned, it's a boring story. Before she, before, she would have just told me to mind my business. Maki has changed a lot well. since then. When planning an assassination, you need to gather detailed information first. You need to know the target, their schedule, movements, uh, friends, acquaintances. And for this particular target, he normally worked late into the night. When I looked further into his schedule, I found out he was into some nerdy hobbies. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Tsugumi is? That's right. Samugi. <laughs> yeah, it's called her Sugumi. Oh, jeez. Yeah, just like her. Especially, uh, he especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay. Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay coming from Maki's mouth. Unless she was re re uh, referring to Tsumugi. Tsumugi, Sugumi, Tsumugi, Tsumugi. <clears throat> I thought of a good plan to get close to him without concealing my uh, weapon. Oh, while concealing my weapon. A prop carrying huh? case. What's that? Is it different from a normal carrying case? Well... Samuki would know. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can accommodate larger props, so it's convenient to carry around. So I placed a katana in the carrying case and made my move. Oh, annoying. But then, the people thought, uh, people around thought I was a cosplayer, and something odd huh? happened. What happened? <sighs> On that day, they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character who also carried a katana. Oh. Oh jeez. I was cosplaying that character. Oh, poor Maki. So I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. Oh no. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. Oh jeez. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually real. Yeah. Sounds like a close call. Very close call. Should have done more research, Maki. <laughs> I was wondering what the serial fail, serial serious failure of yours was going to be. Okay. I'm surprised it wasn't like a uh, you you botched killing someone. Yeah, honestly, it was much cuter than I ex was expecting. Yeah, don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. That's right. I was branded as a failure because something so stupid. If they didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, it would have been the end. Ah. Oh, you're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. It was still kind of funny. I'm sorry for laughing. The past is funny. It's, it's, it's good to laugh about the past. Except, you know, super duper major events. Sorry. Yes, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. Jeez. You, you don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. Maki turned to the head. Uh, turned her head to the side with a pout. She gonna laugh? She gonna laugh too? That expression on her face opens, uh, opening up to her, opening up to us with her stories. I never could have imagined this. My impression of her has changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. I hope Maki is right. I hope we can learn more about each other after we go out. After we get out, not go out. We're not going out with Maki. I'm, I'm still shipping her with Kaito. No, we will become friends. We will definitely get out of here. After a bout of training with the sword, I returned to my room. Huh. 
that was not the the scene that I was expecting, but it's I'm happy with the scene that I got. Thought we were gonna get like smacked in the head with a practice sword. Good times. What to do? What can't? Oh, it's still free time. Jeez, Louise. Uh, the only thing I'm good for is solving mysteries about this academy. Don't have any, any clue. Don't have many clues. That's no excuse. We have a couple clues, to be fair. But he's right. We don't have, like, nearly enough. Usually this game would be pushing a whole lot more clues on us. Um... I really don't know who to hang out with. Where are the report cards? It's this one. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to finish you because you're gonna die. I don't think you're gonna die this chapter though. I don't know when you're gonna die, but I don't think it's safe to hang out with you. I feel like it might be safe to hang out with you. You're... I, you're a tricky cookie, you are, Kokichi. Um... You probably are safe, maybe, maybe not though. I, So the only person I think is really safe to hang out with, who I will definitely be able to finish... Oh, uh, you might die too. Is you. I don't think they would kill you off after you've been feeling so much despair. I think you're gonna be like, I've lost so much and I have to live on for everyone else. So I think I'm gonna have to hang out with... And... In hopes of finishing someone off before the end of the game, I have to hang out with Himiko. So let's Himiko. That was a horrible joke, I'm sorry. Where, where's, where's freaking Himiko? There she is! What are you doing up here? Hello? Hello, hello? Hey, Himiko. There you are. Oh, okay. Forgot to go with all this, uh, fancy schmancy. Is there anything over here? Gotta look around sometimes. Alright, what's well, good? How you doing? How you doing? Cause I'm a mate. There's one thing I can do. I'll support you with my magic. I don't- I did not look at the items at all. I don't know what you- you would like. Can I? Nope. Should I hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah, That's we should! Hmm, leave it to me. Nothing's impossible with my magic. But we are gonna save real quick. It's been a hot minute since we saved. Save often. That was... Never forget. It's one of Mon uh, Monami's rules. I'll never forget Monami. Um... Oh, that's adorable. Oh, is that adorable? A headband with monochrome ears when worn, it can pick up brain waves and the ears wiggle according to your emotions. Oh, that's... I guess that's cute still. Alright, well... I really don't know... I don't know why we have so many of those. So we have this, and this is what we just used. So... I assume we have one... One more? I don't know. Who knows, man? Who knows? We're just gonna... We're just gonna hang out with her. <clears throat> but there's a limit to even my magical powers. Make sure you understand that. I'm gonna have to go back to that item screen, too. I spent some time with Himiko. There she is. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Yeah, I would. Definitely. Alright, um, no, that's a book. This, should we, would like this dragon? Probably not. I think four of them won't make them vanish. That sounds like a magic trick. I saved right before this, I'm gonna chance this one. Am I? Ugh, I might as well chance something. If That's eight of them. Do you like it? You. You must have used a Find Himiko a Great Gift spell. No, I was just guessing, to be frank. Mm -mm, well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. Yeah. Hey! Himiko? Yeah. Um... Himiko? What? What? 
He looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go uh, away. Um, if you don't want to talk to me, you could have turned me down. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. This is the same old Himiko. Hmm. I see. I never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Um, hey, Miko, why did you decide to be okay. a magician? I'm not a magician. I'm a mage and I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. It's Sorry. Magic. It's real magic, okay? No. Real magic, sir. Then show me some real magic. <sighs> real magic, sir. We don't want to make her mad. Uh, okay. Real magic, sir. I feel like this conversation will go nowhere if I disagree. It's magic. No, it's magic. How many times do I have to tell you? What was that? Huh? huh? What? Mm. It's magic. Okay. Yes, that's right. I just said it was magic. Ah. Yeah, you're right. It's magic. It's magic. Hm. She looks really happy. Hmm. Anyway, what were we talking about? Why I'm a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic trick? Remember. But it's real magic. It seems like magic requires a ton of preparation to prepare. <laughs> to preparify, so. Jeez. A typical amateur question. You don't need annoying preparations for <laughs> magic. I see. Because I'm a mage. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would go against my master's mm. teachings. Master, you have a master, okay. Himiko? Didn't I tell you? Okay. You did. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. step, step, step. My controller goofed. Ah, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, so there are apprentice magicians, and that's right, my master was a... Oh, okay. Hold on. Might have to switch controllers. The battery on this one might be dead. That's why I always keep a spare controller, kids. <coughs> See, look at that. Perfect. Why are you asking about that? Well, because... Isn't it strange that a lazy girl... Okay, okay, okay. I see. Da -da -da -da. Amazing arts mage. Hey, wait, you call me a magician again. I'm a mage. Well, our bad. My bad. Well, we got the flower. We got part of the flower. Four more parts to go. Don't die, Himiko. <laughs> Don't die. If you die, I swear. Spend some time calming Himiko down, who became quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. Probably her mom, or her dad. Who she'll probably never see again. Sad days. Cause I'm pretty sure... My guess is that we're on some other planet. That's my guess. Looks like I have some free time. Free time? Alright. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and hang with uh that girl. Oh sweet. Is she she's just right outside? Um we'll go here. Then we'll just walk over and we'll be like, hey, what's going on? And so I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I Oh Okay, there's one of those things over there. Where is she? Hello, hello, hello. I wake up in the morning and step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I screw the top of my lungs. What's going on? Do -do 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 -do. I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I, na, 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 na. What's going on? I think she is. Okay, where are you? Where's your room? Not on the boy side. There it is. Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Yeah. <clears throat> you need to talk to me or something? So hang out with me? Yeah, we're gonna hang out with Himiko. We gotta finish that flower shoot. You know about the flowers. Are you bored? You can come with me. I'm tired. If I don't rest now, I won't make it to tonight. Oh. Dude, you were you the queen of naps, I guess, Himiko. Spend some time relaxing with Himiko, who had tired herself, uh, tired herself out on being positive. I guess this is the transition. We're still in transition, Himiko phase. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Yeah, we would. 
we would, we're going to give her the same present as before. Wherever it is, there it is. Yes, please. You. Yep, I know, I got that. I got this spell. I got this spell on lock. Yeah. She looks really bothered by something. All the time, that's just her face. Um, Himiko, there's something I wanted to ask you. Yeah, my magic's a trade secret. No, no it's not that. I was wondering why you became a magician. Mage. Mage. Uh, um... Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry, a mage. You said you had a master. Did he inspire you? So it is a he. When I saw my master use his magic, I was uh, awakened as a mage. Is that all right? Um, just making sure, but... Did your master also say he was a mage, not a magician? What are you saying? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. I see. Himiko's insisting she's a mage is... Uh, Himiko's insisting she's a mage is probably her master's okay. influence. First time I saw my master was on stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it triggered the magical power sleeping within me to awaken. I didn't yet have the skill to control such powerful mm. magic. Therefore, I studied under my master to control my own mm. magic. I see. I'm a mate. Fortunately, it only took a year... a full year's training. A few years of training, not a few, a full. Uh, to become a full-fledged mage. Master let me help him in his show as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic. Because he trained me, people started calling me the ultimate mage. She's probably actually the ultimate magician, but I shouldn't bring that up. That? My master learned his magic by studying around the world, you know? Extreme wind magic, levitation, extreme space magic, teleport, extreme meat magic, song a person in half, and many more. Extreme meat magic is not what I would call song a person in half. Extreme meat magic doesn't sound very magical, nope. It would be called making a hamburger, or spicing it up, or sticking your- never mind. My master made them all look simple, but they were very hard for me to grasp. I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned for you right now, mm. so I see. That's fine. In return, this ultimate mage will answer any question for you. A question? Let me think. Um. Ooh. What if a fly gets into your teleportation? What happens if a fly touches you during teleportation? Mm. Mm. Then you'd be face to face with danger. But these days, spells are warded against interference from flies. <laughs> Good idea. How about that? Even the sawing spell. It's great for when you want to make flies go uh, away. Um, I don't think you should just be cutting up a person to keep flies away. But In any case, I'm sure your master is worried about you right now. Oh no. Something wrong? Himiko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe. He might be worried. Hmm. Himiko. What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back okay. to my room. Uh, okay, see you later. Sarich, you can't just be like, he's probably worried about you. That might be her dad. Dear Sarich, you insensitive son of a gun. Watch Himiko walk away and return to my room. It's a good thing we're both in the dorms. Himiko was acting strange for a minute there. I wonder what's wrong. Interesting. It's nighttime. That means it is time for training. Maybe fingers crossed. Oh, first it's time for oh, not ding dong, bing bong. It's just time for ding dong. A doorbell. That's not ding dong, bing bong. By the way, you should ding dong, bing bong that, um, that bell button. Hit the like button and subscribe button. We're not done yet. But, um, the fact that he said, is Kaito or Maki looking for me, makes me believe this is not Kaito or Maki, it is you. Hey, Puichi! Oh my, don't insult, I'm about to do- Where are my gloves? Where are my gloves? I'm about to take her out. I'm taking her out. Keep it cool. Sometimes, sometimes we were, sometimes we relate. Sometimes we relate to you. Now, what about Gooichi? Scooichi? <laughs> Whatever, pick any nickname you want. Mew, what are you doing here? Ah, fucking virgin. I figured me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin, oh my gosh, a visit. Got a boner yet? Hey. What? 
are you doing here? Uh. What am I doing here? Uh. Cheer up! Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. Uh. What? We can escape? Booyah! Come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. There's no rest, so when you want to... Oh my gosh. You want to rub one? Jesus, I can't even read that, man. But you better bring the crusty tissues. Ew. Get out of my room. Get out of here, Mew. Get. Get. Come on, get. Jeez. Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound that serious at all. But I shouldn't just ignore her. The computer room on the fourth floor. Are we going now? Now it's time for training. I think she said in the morning, right? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see if training's going on first, you know? My homies. Homies. Homies? I guess I gotta go to the computer lab. Well, I am not going to, uh... Not gonna walk there. No, no, I'm, I'm not. As much as I love the scenery... Third floor, fourth floor. Oh, Himiko, what's good? We, we just hung out. I gotta talk to you again. We gotta talk. We gotta talk, Himiko, you and me. What did she probably... She probably called you, like, Himikunt. Freaking... Freaking sack of garbage in you. What's good? What's good, girl? Hmm. Hey, Mika? What? Oh, hello, Shuichi. Didn't you tell you to meet up here, okay. too? So everyone got the same hmm. message. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this all smells really fishy. My magical instincts are telling me not to get involved with but... you. But she might have found the only means of escape. I think we should go just in you're case. Right. I guess you're right. Huh? You see him no. frazzled. I just remembered how Tinko would always grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh. Here, no, here we go. I can picture Tinko taking her by the hand and saying, I'll protect you. Mm. Alright, I'll learn from Tinko and move forward. Well then, Shuichi, I'll go on ahead. You should head over soon, too. Oh, here we go. Poor baby. She's had it so rough. She's probably had it rougher than anyone in the freaking Danganronpa games. In the games. Not even really. To be fair, Kirigiri kinda had it rough too. Everyone's had it rough. As I suspected, everyone was bought here. Ha! Fucking virgin! Don't act all depressed just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. Huh? Do I look depressed to you? Actually, there's no way we wouldn't show up, and uh, there's no way we wouldn't show up when you told us there's a chance to escape. Mm. But I, th I still think it smells fishy. Uh... Really? Doesn't it smell like something fun is going to happen instead? Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. Thanks. Thanks. The key to a mutual friendship is understanding each other. I'm right already. So what's this way out? Oh, there's a way for getting us out of here. Mm. Is there really a way? Sure. Dahoy? Of course. Geniuses like me never make hey. mistakes. You're wrong. How about in every single class trial when I'm just like, Objection! Take that! No, that's wrong! D d he you're the only one. So, how are we going Out to escape? We're going to another world. A world with no killing games and no Monokuma. Huh? Another world. What? Oh, you want to know? Huh? Do you? I'll tell you if you're bad to me. On your knees, now. What? Huh? Why? <laughs> when Shuichi and Kaede bow to me, it's sort of awakened- Oh, I forgot we freaking did that. You brought up the K-word! She's next on my list. Take her out. Someone- someone get- Someone get a-, a not a gun. I don't want to shoot her. Get a taser, taser. Yeah, taser. Jeez. Now hurry the F up and bow to me, you... <laughs> Jesus. Hmm? Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? Huh? Oh, you want us to listen, right? Then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Why? What? What the heck? Isn't that weird? You get it? You're wasting... Uh, everyone's wasting their precious time on you, you worthless piece of trash. 
So you better bow down and beg. Come on, hurry it up. Um, but, well, why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay, well, everyone, let's go. Wait. Wait. Oh. Well, that's. I wanna talk about it. Huh. It's such a different art style that I was not expecting. That that shook me. That threw me off. And you have a girl. You got some fungus. Girl. Do we we got conditioner in this academy? We got the, wash your hair. Wash your hair. You, you look a mess. You look a mess, and you feel a mess. I actually feel sorry for her. Hey, let's at least hear her out. See? Did you hear that, Mew? Good for you. You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for, you Sal? Hurry up and tell us. Squid breath. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, sir. Please forgive me. So when I said another world, I was talking about this big computer. Huh? What? This? Um. Th there's this device connected to the computer that you put on your head. It, uplo uh, it uploads your consciousness so you can go into the world created by a computer program. What? A world created by a computer program. Got it. Oh, go to understand. Really? Exit is in that computer box, so we gotta break it open and go in. Ah! No. If you try and force your way in, you'll just destroy it. Mm. You mean this virtual reality, right? Um. It's more than just VR, it's a virtual world. Because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. Ah, it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. That being said. Ah, alright, let's go. Uh. Huh? Like, go into the virtual yeah. world? Yeah, let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way. <laughs> what? Why? You promised that we'd all come at the same time. Oh my what? gosh. I didn't promise anything. What are you talking about? Um. Just in case, I should ask a question. What's going to happen to our consciousness in yellow, so someone's gonna die in the virtual world, <clears throat> when we're inside the computer? So we're gonna use our avatars as our new bodies and link our consciousness to the real world. I mean, to the virtual world. How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I hope to prepare our trip to the virtual world. I bought all of our seats. Okay, that's not great. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Uh, um... So that's what the apology was. Mm. Um, what do you guys talk about? What this avatar? Which means they're characters that'll represent you all in the virtual uh. world. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies and shove them into the avatars inside the virtual world, I and then. We'll have new bodies in the new world. I mean, new bodies in a new world. A world without murder and Monokuma. Uh, um, but what happens to our real bodies? Your real bodies will pace, uh, basically be asleep for the duration. In a sense, it'll be like a dream. But oh, yeah. what about eating and drinking and all that good stuff? Alright, let's go. No. <laughs> like I said, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. Ah! I agree with that. Shut the F up, donkey lips. I'm telling you, it's not effing dangerous. Wanna. Saying that makes it sound even more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, she's not wrong. What? What the? Am I really that untrustworthy? Yeah. Well, then you'll be relieved when uh, to know that when I uh, that you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. Wait, someone else? Who? Oh, was it, uh... Is this the Neo World Program? Are we gonna go back to, uh... To, to um, Gala Gala Island? It's not called Gala Gala Island, but I call it Gala Gala Island. Who made this world? Oh, that's not good. Do not say that you made it. That's right, it was me. I knew it. It's dangerous. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, I wanted to hear their music instead. Do 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 I'm sorry, I I really like their music. Huh, Daddy? Which one is my daddy? Oh no. Him! He's my dad! No, I'm not! Let me explain! Now then, let me explain. 
I used a certain program as a template, so you use the Neo World program as a template for this virtual world. And that game is... Oh, that program is the Killing Game Simulator. Killing Game yeah. Simulator. Well, with that in mind, uh, with that, I made up my mind, I definitely won't go wait. in there now. Wait, I said wait. You Dang can't. it. If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for sure. Bye -bye. I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. Right? There's no need to worry, it's just a simulator, right? Well. No, this is Monokuma we're talking about, it may not even be a real simulator. Dun, dun, dun. Daddy's right. Eh? Whose side are you on? That's wrong. I'm not your dad. Oh. K Kibo, come on. You can't just... Ew. How cruel. Why not accept him as your child for now? That's fair. For now, I can't play along, he's not even my you child. Know. You guys are only... Because you haven't even been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so effing awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to Come you guys. So let's dive right in, okay? And we'll do it together. But... It's a virtual world that Monokuma created, right? Just the tip is fine. If you don't want to dive in, you can just... Oh my gosh, hey! it's the tip. The tip of what? By the way. The dick. But you just said, you pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Mommy! That's what a good mommy would do. What? Mommy? Yes. Yes. What's this weird sensation in my chest? Is this what it feels like to be a mom? Maybe that's How what you exciting. need. Let's trust me. We should trust in our friends more than I don't. This is very bad. He is very excited to go in, which means... And he just talked to Monokuma. Oh, no. Why? Why are you on Mew's side? Uh -uh. I'm not taking her side, but it's like... I have a feeling we'll find something in that what world. Something? I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world? Uh, um... A secret? <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Uh? Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Uh... Huh? Really? This is the first time I've heard of it. Oh, man. This collusion between these... This is freaking Russia and Trump all over again. Okay. Me too. Yes. Mommy's hearing of this for the first time. Freaking ah. you. She accepted him? Yeah. Yeah. Like Kokichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world. Oh, that's huh? that's something we need. The secret of the outside world? Yeah. All I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands Yay! on it, you'll instantly learn what's happening outside the academy. Hold on, what's happening outside? What are you talking about? It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be right. That can't be right. Does it have something to do with those meteorites? Is your curiosity peaked? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yep, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. Uh, um... Kokichi, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? The Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world? That's... Don't joke around like that, it's just a hunch. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find info about the outside world. Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to this killing mm. game. Huh? We can end killing game? Got it. Then Gonta will go. Gonta will go to this virtual world place. You can't! Wait, you can't. It's probably a trap set by Monokuma. But, but even if there's a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it. But it'll most... It. There's a small chance that it'll stop but a large chance that it will just continue. Yes, that's what my inner voice is telling me. Uh, what is your freaking inner voice? Hmm. Are you still talking about that inner voice? We're, are, uh, we're already sick of that Atua stuff. Listen yeah. closely. As I've mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. I have always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so... Okay. 
That's something I've never considered. Mainly because it's never been in yellow. But maybe they do that on purpose to hide it? I think it's possible that Kibo could be the mastermind and actually being the ultimate robot and just being controlled from the outside by somebody else. Somebody who we don't know. Or somebody who's not really dead. I don't know, man. I really don't you know. Must do it. That's why I'm going to the virtual world. All right. And I'm going to. You too, Kaito? Got it. Yeah, this secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this world out. Call it a man's curiosity. He did it again. He did sad it again. When a man loses his curiosity, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. You can stop talking about it, but I guess I'll be an idiot too. Huh? But wait, you're going too, Maki? What do you mean? Of course, you're coming along right, Shuichi. And don't say no because it's dangerous. We've been in danger for a while now. That is the best reasoning out of everyone. Everyone else had kind of stupid reasoning. My inner voice, a man's curiosity, virtuo. We've been in danger for a long time. Screw it, let's do it. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth. So I can't run away from You're this. Right. All right, I'll go you too. Can't. But why? It's definitely going to be dangerous. It's true. No matter how dangerous it gets, we have to do mm. it. Fine, I'll go too. Being left will just make me worry. Okay. All right, then everyone except for Samugi is going. Stop. Wait, if everyone's going, I'll go too. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Um, Kokichi, are you planning something? <laughs> Of course not! After Kaito punched me, I became a changed man. I... ooh, don't believe that at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is more than worrisome. You are... he might... oh, please don't kill Kaito or persuade to kill Kaito in the ver... oh no. <laughs> so relax and just trust me. That being said... Alright, then let's go before you cockroaches change your dang minds. Fucking slugs! Jesus, Mew, you, your language. Each of you grab the helmet and plant your butts on one of those seats. I understand. Okay, fine. Alright, this is before we go. With Mew instructing us, we got in position around the computer. And that is where we are going to end for today. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Danganronpa V3, killing Harmony. And... We hung out with Himiko. And now I just need to think. I'm gonna say think, but I'm about to actually record the next episode, so... You know what's coming out soon? Probably be out in like... It'll probably be an off day of like a Minecraft. And then either it's something special or another episode of Danganronpa, because I kind of really want to finish this series. Oh, man. This is so bizarre. So we're going into what probably is going to be similar to the Neo World program. I'm excited to see what the virtual world's going to be like. I am. Uh, and that's why I'm about to play it immediately, because I'm super duper excited. <sighs> what could it be? And who's going to... It sounds like Kokichi is planning something. But I don't think... I feel like Gonta dies. I feel like Gonta dies because he's the most vulnerable right now. And I really don't like that. Uh, I feel like Gonta dies and... Coach Kichi uses someone else to be the killer. I feel like that's how this goes. But that's just my hunch for now. Because after hearing Kibo's inner voice thing, I think I might put him to go to the end now. I really think I put him to go to the end. But then that... I put him to go to the end, and I think he might be the mastermind. So Gumi might die. She was the one who really didn't want to go. To go to Orsugumi? I don't know. I really don't know. This is... This is just me thinking. I'll probably just do some, like, pre-thinking before the next episode. I'm gonna take a quick break, get some more water, and I will be recording pretty much immediately after that but you guys won't know because <clears throat> because this is when i say thanks for watching stay classy 
hit the like, subscribe, and ding dong ding bong the bell. And we will see you for the next episode of Dang and Run for P3, Killing Harmony, United States Aviator, taking off telling your state class investors, and I will see you all next time to deliver. Like